episode two of the Ewing Union High School District Newsletter. I'm James Kuzniak, alongside co-host Eric Patton. Thanks, James. It's early October and we are already two months into the school year and have a wide range of topics to cover. Our first bit of news is the completion of the annual College, Career, and Military Fair. This year's event brought together businesses, colleges, and military branches to Gila Ridge High School on October 1st. Families from around Yuma County were able to interact with more than 50 booths to learn about the nearly endless possibilities for the future after high school. Each year's event is a culminative effort between the community and the counseling offices to make this information available. The following morning, San Luis High School hosted a similar event to help bring that same information to students and families in South County. Well, the college, career, and military fair may have passed, but Arizona Western College is doing something that could greatly affect the future of the class of 2020. On September 16th, AWC President Dr. Daniel Kaur announced the Yuma Promise, an opportunity for incoming AWC students in the fall of 2020 to get their out-of-pocket tuition and fees fully reimbursed. A student would qualify by being enrolled full-time at AWC and successfully completing their associate's degree before transferring to U of A Yuma, ASU Yuma, or NAU Yuma. Here's Superintendent Gina Thompson, who was a part of the AWC announcement press conference, explaining what the Yuma Promise means for YUHSD students. The Yuma Promise is a great example of what power there is in partnerships. Arizona Western College governing board as well as President Core have just announced such an exciting opportunity for our students. Uh, students from Yuma Union High School District are going to be able to feel very empowered and begin their journey to higher education being fully enrolled in Arizona Western College. If students need financial assistance, are interested in scholarship opportunities, grants, or anything else related to paying for college, it is important that they fill out a FAFSA. The window for FAFSA applications opened on October 1st, and counselors all across the district are encouraging students to fill it out. It keeps the door open to as many opportunities as possible. Filling out the FAFSA is very important for several reasons. For one reason, because it, it tells you what kind of Pell Grants you could qualify for. And again, a Pell Grant is money you do not have to pay back. It also tells you what kind of loans you would qualify for, as well as what kind of work study, which could be a job on campus that could help you earn money to pay for your education needs. One of the most exciting annual events in career and technical education takes place each year in the month of September, when nearly 100 YUHSD students attend the week-long Leadership Training Institute in Washington, D.C. The group spent the time learning about Skills USA, taking on rigorous leadership training exercises, and meeting political figures on both sides of the aisle. Last month, we talked about some of the athletic programs that take place in the fall. Now, let's get to know the ones that weren't featured in September. Golf has been underway since they teed off in late August. COFA's Colin Paisano, who was recently named Royal Athlete of the Week by coach Ben Franz, Healy Ridge's Joe Beck and Kylie Gerber, and Cibola's Hunter Nelson are all off to solid starts for the season. Healy Ridge girls have spent much of the season among the top 15 in the state and have a chance to qualify for the state tournament, which takes place after a late October March Madness style qualifying tournament, something that's new to girls golf this year. One of cross country's biggest meets of the regular season took place on September 14th at the West Wetlands Invite. Cibola finished third in both the boys and the girls races. It was the best finish among Yuma area teams. Jacob Avalar and Bennett Meyer Willis of Cibola and Jesus Barba of Gila Ridge took top 10 finishes. On the girls side, Cibola's Kenya Zapeta finished first and Maria Mendoza took fourth. While Gila Ridge's Taylor Ketty and San Luis's Andrea Acosta also finished strong. YUHSD cross-country teams have about a month left in the regular season before sectionals take place on November 6th. Most bands across the district are in the middle of trying to qualify for state competition. Yuma High's band has qualified for state the past two seasons and will likely be on track to do so again under the direction of Director Michael Herrick. Most schools take part in two competitions throughout the fall semester that will serve as qualifiers. Cheer is in the midst of their biggest time of the year. In addition to preparing for each Friday's football game, schools host a variety of events for their cheer teams. This includes events like Cibola and Kofi Cheer Buddies and other competitions in preparation for state and national competitions. Well, that wraps up our run through fall sports and another edition of our newsletter. For James Kuzniak, I'm Eric Patton. We'll see you next time. <music>